I'm Anil Kumar and here is a very interesting question on trigonometric ratios. The question is solve cos 2 theta equals to 0 0.6951 where theta is between 0 to 360 degrees to the nearest degree. Now here is a very interesting that we are given what theta is. Theta is between 0 to 360 degrees but in the question we have 2 theta so we need to change this domain. If I multiply all of them by 2, I get what? I get 2 theta is less than or equals to 720 degrees and is greater than or equals to 0 degrees. So that is how my domain for theta changes. In fact, 2 theta changes. Do you see that? So this is the very first and the most important step which you need to consider. Okay. Now, let's begin to solve the question. Question before us is cosine of 2 theta equals to 0 0.6951. So that means 2 theta is equals to cos inverse of 0 0.6951. So let's use the calculator and find. Shift cos inverse 0.6951 is equals to 45.96 45.96 to the nearest degrees we'll just round this answer to 46 degrees so what we get here is the value of 2 theta is 46 degrees now we know that 2 theta should be between 0 to 720 degrees how to get all possible solution that is a very critical part We'll understand that part now. To get all possible solutions, what we should do is, we got the first one, which is that 2 theta is equals to this angle. Well, let me write this angle as 46 degrees. Okay. Now, cos is positive in two quadrants. It is positive in quadrant 1 and also in quadrant 4. Correct? That means... Related acute angle should be 46 here also. Right? So these are two possible solutions and these two solutions are in 0 to 360. right? So what we get here is two answers which is the first one let me write here first one is 46 which we have written. So let me rewrite the answers. So we have 2 theta equals to 46 degrees that is the first one and then we can go kind of like this. Do you see that? So the second one is one. It I should say 360 minus 46. The second one is 360 degree minus 46. Correct. So that is the second answer. Now remember, two theta is within zero to 720. So we should add 360 to these to get two more answers. Correct. That is to say that we have to go full circle right so one more answer will be we'll go one full circle and come back to 46 that means from here from here we have to add 360 degrees correct so to get the next answer so another possible solution for us is 46 degrees plus 360 degrees correct similarly we have to add one more let me use a different ink to show you that part here also, we we have to go circle like this. Do you understand? One full circle and then back, correct? Right? So that means we have to add 360 degrees to this also, correct? Right? With the result, we get the fourth possible answer as 360 degrees minus 46. I have not done calculations. Plus 360 degrees. Is that okay? So that way we get for 2 theta, four different answers right so let us write these answers clearly so the first one is 46 degrees second one let us use the calculator 360 minus 46 okay 360 minus 46 is equal to 314 okay so we get 314 now we have to add 360 to both of them so first let me add 360 to the last one plus 360 equals to 674 so I'm writing 674 as the last one. And then we'll add 46 plus 360 equals to 406. 406. 
Remember, these are not theta. These are 2 theta, twice the angle required. So what is theta equals to? So theta will be equals to 46 divided by 2, 314 degrees divided by 2, 406 degrees divided by 2, and 674 degrees divided by 2, correct? So when you divide, you can use calculator, find all these answers, right? So 46 divided by 2 is equals to 23, so you get first answer as 23 degrees. 314 divided by 2 gives you 157. 406 divided by 2, 203. And 674 divided by 2 gives you 337. So these are all the answers for the given question. Do you understand? So your value of theta is indeed 23 degrees, 157 degrees, 203 degrees, and 337 degrees. As you can see, the angle theta which you get is between 0 and 360 degrees, and that is the way it should be solved. I hope you understand and appreciate the approach. I'm Anil Kumar. You can subscribe to my videos and learn a lot. Thank you and all the best.